Generally, a defendant may be convicted of a crime, even though he or she isn't expressly charged with that crime if it's a lesser included offense of the crime charged. A lesser included offense is typically defined as a crime that's composed of some, but not all the elements of the greater offense charged. In Carter v. United States, the United States Supreme Court considered whether federal bank larceny was a lesser included offense of federal bank robbery. In 1999, Floyd Carter ran into the Collective Federal Savings Bank in Hamilton Township, New Jersey, wearing a ski mask. After entering, Carter jumped behind the customer service desks and through one of the teller windows and stole almost $16,000 from the different cash drawers. After retrieving the money, Carter jumped back over the counter and fled the scene. However, later that day, he was apprehended by the police. Subsequently, Carter was charged in federal district court with federal bank robbery, a violation of Title 18, Section 2113, Subsection A of the United States Code. Under that section, a defendant could be found guilty of bank robbery by taking money from a bank by force and violence or by intimidation. Carter pled not guilty, arguing that he hadn't taken the bank's money by force and violence or by intimidation. Prior to trial, Carter moved for the court to instruct the jury on federal bank larceny, a lesser-included offense, in subsection B of the same statutory section. Under that section, a defendant could be found guilty of bank larceny by taking and carrying away money from a bank exceeding $1,000 with the intent to steal. In response, the court denied the motion. At the close of the government's case in chief, Carter moved for a judgment of acquittal. The court denied the motion, and following trial, the jury was instructed to consider only whether Carter was guilty of federal bank robbery under subsection A of the statute. The jury returned a guilty verdict, and the court entered judgment on the verdict. Carter appealed to the Court of Appeals for the Third Circuit, which affirmed. The United States Supreme Court granted cert.